Hello, how are you this morning? Um, this morning I come on because I want to show you what I'm doing for my October, my October tag journal. My new plan, and hopefully it, hopefully I continue this. My plan is to continue this for the rest of my entire life is to have a tag journal for each month. Now, I started my tag journal already for October. Well, of course, it's the 7th today. And so, each day, I do a tag, which I, um, I do something. Most of the time on this month, it's going to be with a fall theme, but then we also have um, Veterans Day, I think it is, uh, the next week, and I think I'm going to do a, a more of a Veterans Day kind of a theme. Um, I um, got a sticker. I put it on a tag somewhere here. I got a sticker that said I voted by mail, so I'm going to make a tag out of that on one of the days. Um, this here on the second, I um, I just did some zentangling, so everything is going to be different. And then on the backs, or somewhere on the um, on on the tag, they're going to be a bit of journal, maybe something that um, was the highlight of my day or or something. Another thing I'm doing through this month, the month of October, is I am I'm highlighting on Oktoberfest. Now Oktoberfest is something that goes on in Germany. I wrote on this today. Oktoberfest, there's lots of food, lots of music, and it usually lasts, I didn't write that down here, but I think, I didn't write it down, usually it lasts about two weeks, where there's a lot of beer drinking, a lot of food, a lot of music, and it started 200 years ago as King Ludwig's wedding reception in Bavaria, Germany. And so I'm kind of using this also as a, like a little learning tool for myself. So I learn a little bit about different things that happen in the month of October, maybe um, traditions and that kind of thing in even other countries. And so I think that'll be fun for me. I like to learn new things. And so like I say, there'll be different things on each tag, but um, on here the highlight of my day was Jeffrey coming for the weekend. And so it's just going to be like a journal. I mean, I'm going to have journal things on here. Um, now this one was um, on Saturday the 3rd. Um, no, that's when I ordered my new computer. But also, I'm, I'm going to be looking at a lot of the words that we use here in our country of the U.S. that come from other countries that originated in other countries, like Gesundheit means thank, um, bless you. A rucksack is actually a German word for a backpack. This one here is a <laughs> highlight of the day was pizza with Jeffrey. That was on Sunday. Autumn, its, autumn is nature at her best. This one here is just a collage with the imagine. And then a little, a little, you know, not much of a journaling, but, um, Oh, this one here I put for yesterday. It felt good today to purge one trash can of overstack of unneeded crafting supplies. That, <laughs> I did a trash can. I but I am a hoarder, uh, and so so I'm going to now. I'm going to. I already wrote something. Usually I decorate and then write and. Some, I can decorate and write, and it'll evolve through the month. And once I get finished with this month, then 
then I'll start on November. And the way I'm going to display my, um, my tag journals is I've got a, on the back of my door in here, I've got a shoe rack that that's got plastic clear pockets in it and I'm going to cut it down to where there's just 12 pockets it's more than that right now but I'm going to trim it down so there's 12 pockets in it and I'm going to um, store my journals in one in each pocket so that's where they're going to be they're going to all be hanging on the back of my door and so then I can go back and look through them and 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 relive the memories that I I wrote. Some of some of them are getting a little um, bit of a tassel on the tag, but not all of them because then that's going to make it way too thick. I do believe I got a little piece of fiber again on just the shower ring hook that I've got them put on. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I've got, I pulled out some pages that I, um, that I want to use for uh, backgrounds and color on my tag. See, I started writing Oktoberfest right there, but I misspelled it. So I figured, well, then I flipped it over and wrote on that side, figured I'll cover that up where it's not exactly what I wanted. And so I'm first going to, um, I'm going to first, first um, ink around the edges a little bit um, of the tag to give that, you know, give that a little bit of color. And so that's what I'll do first. And um, each day I'll do something different because I, as I go through things, which I've been trying to go through things right now, while um, to keep myself busy, because I, I um, run into a little problem with my, with my computer, and so right now I cannot. Um, I, I've been selling these kits, and I've sold quite a few kits for my tag journals, but right now I have to stop taking orders um, for the simple reason is I can't, my, my printer isn't getting along well with my computer, and so I'm not getting, my printer, my computer will not send information to my printer. It says my printer is offline, and um, I've done everything that I'm told to do to get it back online, and it won't get back online, and I think it's the problem with the computer, because I do have a lot of problems with this computer. But I ordered a new one. Well, it's new to me. It's a refurbished computer that I could afford, and I... Um, so I sent that, I ordered that, and that's supposed to be here tomorrow. So if if I can get my printer to pair up with that computer, then um, then then I will be in good shape. Then I can start taking orders again. I, I do not like not being able to take orders. So I had to, um, I had to, I had to, um, stop that. I had to stop taking orders for right now. I had taken two orders and was not able to send, send them off. I printed, I mean, I paid on the computer. I paid, I paid already to print, to buy the, the, um, I'm looking for my scissors. Okay. I, I paid already to send my these two parcels off and where did I put my scissors? And um but then I couldn't print the I couldn't print the labels. The labels wouldn't print just all of a sudden and it's been working just fine for years. And it says my computer my printer's offline and 
I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm in, in the, oh, there they are. Um, so, so then, so I wrote a message to the ladies that had made orders and explained the problem, and they were both so very kind and, and, and told me not to worry, to send them when I could. But I did send Papa to the, um, post the office yesterday with the packages and I thought yes, I use a program called pirate ship to build my to make to pay and send my things off and so then the price at the post office to send these to items like for one let's see the one package I paid ten dollars and something to pay, send. That wasn't the the kit. That was um, that was something else, a cigar box thing. And I it was ten dollars and something, or nine ten dollars and thirteen cents or something like that. At the post office, it's fifteen dollars and seventy cents. And um, and then to send off one of my um, kits, the tag kits. When I print my own postage, it costs a little bit over three dollars, usually about three dollars and thirty-five cents to send that off. And at the post office, it costs four dollars and eighty cents. I get my money back, you know, I get my money back from pirate ship because I didn't actually use use those um, those those things, the, the labels that I purchased. So I'll get them back that money back, but they have to wait 30 days to give it back to me to make sure I don't use those, um, those labels, which I won't because they've been already mailed off, you know, but, um, it's kind of, I don't want to use the post office. I want to print my own, um, I want to print my own, um, labels to save money on the postage because you know everybody has to pay their own postage and I want to do it as least as expensive as I can and pirate ship is what I have found is to be the um, the cheapest to the best prices for I, I guess it's because you're saving the post office that time you know that it takes them then to have to um, you know, there's always long lines at the post office and this kind of thing. And so I guess they want to save, you know, they're happy to save money. And, um, if, if you can print your own postage, I guess. So, which I, I'll save money, they'll save money, whatever, you know. But, um, I'm going to put on here the word imagine. I, I like my words. This is imagine is to form a mental image of something not actually present to the senses. And so I put that word on here along with my, um, the information that I put on the back about Oktoberfest. And, um, and, and then in my mind, I can imagine being, um, being actually present at at the um at the celebration and I have seen a lot of images that have been taken for um um at the Oktoberfest celebration celebrations in the past and the, the the dress, the form of dress, and the, it just looks like everybody's having just a high old time over there. Um, and I'm not one who drinks a lot or anything. I, I don't drink at all except this here lemonade. <sighs> and coffee. And so, so I, um... So, so yeah, I don't, but I can imagine, I can put it into my imagination, just the, um, I can imagine what it would be like to be, 
and to be in in the crowd in in the you know of course if I was younger and I could move around you know um, that makes everything different you know age kind of slows you down and so this is one of my favorite stamps I think you've seen me use this many times on different things okay so this is pretty and this is pretty uh, I feel like I should have something something here for some reason I don't know what reason but it seems like this should have something more on there and um, so maybe what could I put there I had a strip of washi tape but that's in the other room let me let me think there has to be something right here I haven't gotten everything here that I would like to have in this area let me see let me just find something and it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be um let me see, I just have some things here. Like this, this color, now this is good. So, and it's bigger than it needs to be, but it's just a little bit of an embellishment. And so I think what I'll do is I'm going to just go ahead and, and tear... just tear a piece of that off of there and just to give it a little bit more of of something there um, so I still have I still have the um, the, the, the fall patterned paper here but then I um, then this is just a little bit of just a little extra because it just seems kind of spacey right there so let me tear the bottom too so it's got a torn edge at the top and the bottom and so it has nothing to do with fall except for the color and I'm going to put that on just right like that and um now my book here is going to be now I have got like on the on the 16th I have a daughter's birthday so that page is going to be um, made with my daughter in mind on her birthday and then on the 24th would have been would have been my mother's birthday and so I'm going to put that one now my mother has been in heaven for quite a few years now, but on that one I'm going to um, dedicate them. Oh, this was my whole my um. This is the one I just put this here, and I'm going to do this one up for um, uh, Veterans Day. I'm going to do that one. I think, or maybe I'll do a separate one for Veterans Day and just do this one. I haven't nailed. I haven't nailed it off yet. So, in fact, I think I'm not going to nail it. I think I'm going to um, have somebody drop it in the drop box for me instead of putting it in the mailbox. I I don't know why. I just have no reason. No reason. Just do it. Okay, now I'm looking for, I had one sheet of little stickers here that had little bitty pumpkins on them. And, but now I'm lost track of that too. That's why I have to go through my house and purge a few things because I just have too much. Oh, here it is. Here's the little sheet that I had those stickers on. Little things. These stickers uh, were given to me, but they came originally from cr the Creative Memories Collection. I don't know how old they are, but I think they're kind of old. I mean, they. I don't know if... I don't think they sell them anymore. I don't know. But they are so pretty. 
and I was blessed to get those. Okay, I'm going to take like one of these little pumpkins. And they're, these are so pretty. I've never seen um, stickers like this before. But they actually are very intricate cuts inside of them. So when, uh, they're, they're just beautiful. I just, beautiful. So I'm trying to use them hoardingly. So I'm going to probably have a lot of these stickers put on for October and November. These are nice. And this one here is more winter because there's snowmen in them. I'll use those. And oh, there's some sunflowers, apples, pumpkins. And then these ones will be for December too and January with the snowflakes. So those will be nice. So I'll keep them. I've got a cigar box here and I use my cigar box for um I have just my kit in there. My kit is in the cigar box my, that I'm using for October. A little pumpkin on there too. Um and so when I find something that I think, oh, this will be good on an October tag, then I will put it in there. I've got some orange yarn somewhere. I gotta find that. And then I'll put that, I'll put some of that in my box too. So when I get ready to, um, when I get ready to work on a page, I can just open my cigar box which is right now right here in in a mess but um i can open my cigar box in inside of there i have my tags i have some things here i've got this set of stickers of rather stamps rather that i um this set of stamps it goes back in there and then and the stamps that I have at my ready are are fall fall harvest seasons and natures these were a blessing as well from my my daughter-in-law she brought those to me one day she brought me um, a whole set a whole bunch of these that she had had them given to her and then she wasn't going to use them so she passed them on to me which was such a nice blessing but these are real nice and I use these ones already some and I'll use them some more but I'll keep them there and um I have some purple fiber yarn here as well because then and then I have like like some paper here that is very Halloween with them spiders and I thought well that I'll use two this month and so and, and hopefully I can get my printer online again to where I can be able to print other things if I so choose and I'll keep this little piece of paper it's just brown that I back to these these two things with here I back to those and with the brown and I just like to have everything framed and backed up there and so now I have the tag done for today and I plan to make a tag every day for this whole month and um, so then that's finished now I have started um, monthly journals many times the only one I've ever kept up with and I think I only did it once my December daily I did that one time one year I kept up with it the whole month and other years I did partial months and then it gets lost in my brain and so now here I have now got seven days done on my October 2020 uh, uh, tag journal and to finish a journal, to finish a tag, it just takes just a small amount of your time, and but then it's finished. And so, so and then and then ready for the next day. And so that is what is happening here in my life. In my life, my life. 
and there's my boxes ready. Put my notebook back over there. And then this is, is beginning to look really nice. I love this. I just think this is the greatest. I love the size of it. And um, I'll let you all know if, um, if and when I get, um, if I offer these kits because I have the kits and I sold quite a few kits for the um um for for these you know for the and but I'll let you know when I have them coming again. I had somebody ask me yesterday and I said, you know, I'm gonna wait until I know I can print print because for one thing it's a it's it's a job just to get to the post office to print, and then I have to pay so much more for posting, I mean for posting. Then I have to pay so much more that I don't want to do that. I'm kind of cheap there. And so, even though it's not me paying the postage, it's the buyer paying the postage, it still is kind of, kind of tough, you know. So, but that's, that's it. That's what I wanted to do, which is to do one tag with you. And I'm not going to do the tag on film every day, but I'm going to update you maybe once a week on how my, how my journal is going. And so, for this morning, I'm going to, you know, I like to read to you. So this morning I'm going to read from Heart Thoughts and... Um, let's see, let's look at this one here. This one here, some glasses here, is I am always perfectly protected. This one here, the topic is fear. Sometimes when your life is magnificent, you may fear that something bad is going to happen to take it all away. Anxiety is fear and not trusting yourself. Just recognize it as the part of you that is used to being upset about something. Thank it for sharing and then let it go. I am always perfectly protected. Remember, when a fearful thought comes up, it is trying to protect you. Isn't that what fear is always all about? When you become frightened, your adrenaline pumps up to protect you from danger. Say to the fear, I appreciate that you want to help me. Then do an affirmation about that particular fear. Acknowledge and thank the fear, but don't give it any importance. That's very interesting. I am plagued a lot with anxiety and and fears, and which keeps me quite um, almost in jail sometimes here in my own home. But um, I work through it, and so this is this is something that I really did need to read. I'm going to hopefully this this um, this. This video works out okay because at the beginning my computer was saying something to me, sending up some kind of a notice that something wasn't right. And, but I said, oh well, I'm going to go ahead and film anyway, so we'll see how that works. And so I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. God bless.